Hi, this is Mary Jane. I'd like to tell you, happy Thursday. This is August. The months are passing by really fast, so we can't procrastinate. Whatever we got to do, we just got to get up and do it. I just want to tell you that I went out looking for a computer yesterday and they didn't have no computers at Walmart. I mean, they was out to two, which was not what I needed. And so I went to get in the car to call Best Buy. And the service is so bad, you gotta press, press one, press two, press three. And when they did, they was like, we're not taking any calls. And it was only 5.30. So I said, well, I'm hungry now. I'll go get me a hamburger and stopped and got a hamburger and pulled over to eat it in the lot. And all of a sudden the Holy Spirit said, go home. And I wrapped the rest of my hamburger up, put it in a bag and went home. And that's what I'm talking about today, to get to know your father's voice, your heavenly father. We are adopted. Those that are say they're Christian and accepted Jesus Christ as their personal savior, you need to know his voice. So the next morning, which was Thursday morning, I usually say, good morning, God. Thank you for waking me up. You so cool and smooth, I didn't even feel you when you touched me. <laughs> I like to talk to my father like that. And so then I go in the bathroom and I look in the mirror and I say, Father, what you want me to do today? Do you know he told me what to do? The telephone rang for distraction. We can always have some distraction to keep us from doing and being obedient to God. So I call, talk to the people. Usually I don't talk that early, but I felt it was important. It was some information to encourage somebody about a sick relative. So I listened. And then another telephone call in. That call was very encouraging. And so I listened to that. And in the meantime, I had to get my breakfast, which extended over to brunch because it was after 12 o'clock. And so then I went on and began to do other things. And so when I took a break, and mind you, God had told me, the Holy Spirit had mentioned to me, it's seven o'clock this morning, what he wanted me to do. So when I got comfortable and sit down, and he whispered in my ear again, and I immediately did what I was supposed to do. And I thank God that I know his voice. We got to get to know his voice. And then I thought about, well, Lord, I wanted a computer and you didn't let me get a computer. And then I thought about, we got a computer. God is our computer, the brain. When he whispered into our ear, our first thoughts are to be listened to. Pay attention, pay attention to that first thought. Because Satan will try to come and snatch it away from you, keep you from being obedient. And we're not obedient. That's just like when I had my children, I disciplined them. You didn't obey me. I'm the parent. We got a master plan. We got a plan that God desired for us to be obedient. Because he don't tell us why. He just tell us what to do. And we be obedient. And I was about to miss my blessing. Ooh, you ought to heard me. I've seen me get busy and do what he told me to do because I had went to the father to ask him and then to be disobedient and I know better because God don't tell you, he don't tell me what he going to do, but you better believe can't nobody bless you like the Lord. Nobody. So use that computer instead of mine. When you meditate and ask God, Lord, what do you want me to do instead of telling him, I want to do this and I want to do that, I want to do this and I want to get a bargain, I want to, no, no, it don't work like that. When Jesus' mother told him, said they ride a wan, and he was like, what, what, what are they going to do about it? And so she didn't argue with him. She just told the servant, she said, do whatever he say, just do it. And that's what I'm telling us to do. Whatever Jesus say, just do it. And so the king was impressed. He was like, they always say the best wine 
they always use the best wine first, then they use that cheap wine. Because when you get drunk, you don't care what you drink, as long as you keep drinking. I understand. And so we got to listen. We got a computer that only God can whisper in your ear and only you can hear it. So let's start listening to what the Holy Spirit has to say because he will not lead you wrong. He ain't not going to tell you to kill nobody. We got a lot of spirits out there, so we got to know who our Father is. We've been adopted in the family, and we want to understand what God tell us to do. Just do it quickly. Just do it quickly. That's what he told Satan. He says, just go on and do it quickly. Just go on and get it out the way. So just stop procrastinating and use that computer that God gave us, a brain. He don't make us do anything. Understand that. He's so kind and gentle and understanding and loving. Let's get back to loving our neighbors as ourselves. Let's stop cussing each other out and smiling and at strangers and hating your own neighbor, which is your relatives, your loved ones. Let's learn to love again and spend time with each other. Busy is another form of, uh, of Satan taking away your time from God. You'd be too tired to pray. You're asking God to forgive you because you're so tired, but he's the one that gave you the energy, the strength to do the things that you need to do so you don't have to beg, borrow, or steal. He takes good care of us, but he wants his attention. We, we have a jealous God. We want his attention. When we get in trouble, we holler, oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. You heard people say that. And they ain't faith. <laughs> Our Father, no attention. I get upset if you don't pay me attention. You say you love me. I like I always say, love is an action word. Love say, do you need anything? I'll bring it right over. No, they say, hey, how you do it? <laughs> and scared that you're going to ask them to do something. But you can't be God given. You cannot be God given. You cannot be God being obedient. Is better than a sacrifice. Just think about that. Rejoice in the Lord. God got the joy that we need today. So many of people are walking around depressed, worried, don't know what they're going to do. Ask God what to do. He will not mislead you at all. So I love the Lord. He heard my cry and pitied every groan. And I just want to say, God bless you, that I hope that something I said that encouraged you to not to worry. Don't worry. God don't want us to worry. He wants us to come back to heaven looking beautiful. <laughs> just like gorgeous, drop down gorgeous. Because that kind of God we serve, he wants to give us everything. He takes good pleasures in giving us what we need. He'll send somebody and touch somebody and say, bless them. I give you enough to bless somebody. So learn to give. That's so important because everywhere he went, Jesus was giving. Everywhere he was going, he would walk down the road. He was encouraging somebody. Praise the Lord. God bless you. I love you. Love you. Bye.